What's up everyone, Jared here. So this is the RavPower RP WD01 wireless file hub. And it's a pretty neat little gadget. For starters, it has a SD card slot, but since it has built-in wireless via Wi-Fi, it can act as either your wireless or wired external card reader, which is what I'm mainly using it for. Uh, you can also plug in external USB storage in the form of a flash drive or external hard drive, for example. There's a free app on both the Apple App Store and Google Play Store to download, and with it, you can set up the wireless password as well as view pictures or stream media with up to five devices connected at once. It also acts as a NAS server, so if you have a smart TV or media player in the living room, you can have this connected to your network and have access to all your files. It also acts as a wireless hotspot. So if you had some people over and didn't want to give everyone your home network's Wi-Fi password, you could always set up an easy password for everyone or just leave it wide open, providing free Wi-Fi for everyone. But that's not all it can do. It also has a built-in 3000 milliamp hour battery. So you can either charge most new smartphones once or use the battery to power the device itself. Now the whole unit is pretty light and is made out of every electronics manufacturer's favorite material, cheap glossy white plastic, though they did spice it up a bit with a bit of a mint colored band wrapping around the entire device. So the top is where all the indicator lights are located. Uh, so we've got one for the battery level, the data read slash write, the Wi-Fi status, and the little sort of globe icon indicates when it's being used as a hotspot. On the left side is the function slash on off button, and beside that is a micro USB port that's meant for both charging and data transfers. Now the companion app itself has iOS written all over it, uh, but it's it's easy to use and it just plain works, which is always what's most important. Now I reviewed something similar a little while ago called the Tripmate from Who2. Uh, the main differences between the Tripmate and this RAV power model is that the Tripmate has a built-in network cable port instead of a SD card slot like on the RAV power unit. Both do pretty much exactly the same thing otherwise, um, so it's really up to you whether you would prefer an SD card slot or a network cable port. So all that said, I think these are pretty neat little gadgets, um, especially for those that might need something like this often. It works as advertised, it's simple and easy to use, and even though I'm not a big fan of cheap glossy plastic, it doesn't feel like it's just gonna break in my hands or even in a backpack for that matter. And even though I've already reviewed and shown you the Hutu Tripmate, I wanted to show you this model just in case the lack of an SD card slot on the Tripmate is what prevented you from getting one in the first place. But that's it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, maybe hit that like button and even subscribe for plenty more videos in the future. And if you happen to be in the market for one of these or are just now thinking you might like one, I'll leave a link to its Amazon page in the description below. So thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.